The decision to transfer from one medical school to another in Nigeria is a significant decision that can be daunting for any medical student. Transferring from one medical school to another, also known as inter-university transfer, allows a medical student in one Nigerian university to transfer his or her studentship to another Nigerian university and continue their medical education there. This move can be motivated by a change in financial circumstances, dissatisfaction with various aspects of their current university, such as the quality of education, teaching methods or techniques, accreditation status, and the level of challenge and intellectual stimulation they desire. Regardless of the reason why students may choose to change schools, all who do so will need to go through the transfer process. In this wise, you can transfer from Ambrusalin University at Edo State to University of Calabar in Cross River State, or from Alex Ikwemi Federal University in Ebony State to Delta State University or River State University. If you are a medical student who is considering transferring from your current university to a different university, you might have a lot of questions about the process, the requirements, and the potential challenges that come with it. That's why we are here to shed more light on this complex but crucial topic. Hello there, this is MedZone TV, home to medical school excellence. MedZone TV is an online medical community that presents you with series of web-packed activities ranging from captivating stories, top-notch medical contents, fascinating videos, quizzes, monthly challenges, and a lot more you can't afford to miss. In today's video, We'll be sharing with you a step-by-step -step guide on how to successfully navigate the process of transferring from one medical school to another. Please sit back, relax, and listen. When it comes to transferring between medical schools in Nigeria, it's important to understand the specific requirements and procedures involved as each institution may have its own unique set of rules and guidelines for transfers. Understanding the specific guidelines and requirements of both the current and prospective universities is paramount. It's essential to note that transferring from a polytechnic or college of nursing to a state, federal or private university in Nigeria is currently not possible. Such transfers are only visible through the direct entry program, which requires national diploma holders or registered nurse certificate holders to meet specific admission criteria. To initiate an inter-university transfer in Nigeria, several requirements must be met. Why these requirements may vary depending on the policies of the specific universities involved, here are some common prerequisites. Firstly, the prospective candidate applying for transfer of studentship to another university must be a current student of the university from which he or she seeks transfer. Candidates expelled or withdrawn from other universities based on academic record or disciplinary cases most of the time will not be considered for transfer. The candidate must meet the university and program specific admission requirements as contained in the university regulations. To be specific, the applicant must possess the minimum entry O level requirement and the UTME score must not be lower than the cutoff mark for the prospective university and course on admission. Moving on, the applicant must transfer into the same course as he or she is actively registered for in their present university and must not have scored less than 50 in any of the courses offered in 100 level. Some schools may even require the applicant to have a minimum cumulative grade point average of 4.2 in a scale of 5.0 for the MBBS program. Typically, you should have completed a minimum of 100 level at the time of the transfer application. The duration for inter-university transfer must fall within the season of admission process as stipulated in the university and the academic transcript of the candidate must be forwarded directly from the applicant's university to the university the applicant is interested in transferring to. Students' copy of academic transcript is usually not acceptable by many universities since it can be doctored. Worthy of note is that transfer students are usually only admitted to 200 level in most states and federal universities. Yes, most states and federal universities do not admit transfer students beyond second year for all programs in their university. However, some schools admit transfer students into 300 level and 400 level depending on the availability of space. Examples of such schools are Ocean State University in Oshobo, Edo State University, Iyamo, and Gregory University located in Utsuru, Abia State. 
Finally, most universities would require transfer students to submit sworn court affidavit on their criminal and disciplinary status in their former university. Some private universities may even go as far as asking for a police clearance form. If at any stage irregularity is discovered in the papers presented by the student, such a student can be withdrawn or made to face the student's disciplinary committee and the appropriate punishment will be melted out. Now, once a person has decided to pursue a transfer, the next step is to carefully research potential destination schools. This involves looking into various factors, such as the accreditation status of the institution, approved quota of the medical school, school fees, faculty expertise, and other personal considerations. This research phase is crucial for making an informed decision. To research and identify potential universities, you would need to go to different university websites to read about their minimum entry requirements as each university and course has its transfer requirements. You don't have to know anybody or have someone in your proposed school before you can research about the institution. Most universities usually leave the phone numbers to the admission office on the university's website, so you can easily get in contact with someone in the admission office of your proposed university and inquire directly from them about the transfer process and requirements. Alternatively, you can visit the official social media handles of the university you are interested in transferring to, that is, their Instagram and Twitter handles, and look for people following the university. For those individuals to be following the school, it is likely that they are students of the university. Message the individual or call them if their contact is in their profile. Introduce yourself, tell them how you got their contact, and why you are testing them or calling them. If you approach them in this manner, most of them will be more than willing to assist you with the information you seek and even help you with the transfer process. But please, always confirm their identity if you have to send them money so you don't end up getting scammed. Moving on, once you have researched and identified potential universities that you can transfer to, the next step is to prepare your transfer application. Preparing a transfer application requires careful attention to detail. Along with the official academic transcripts, students are generally required to submit their O-level results, that is, their Wayeko Neko results, UTME results, and other relevant documents such as admission letter, letter of attestation, transfer clearance form from previous university, and any other necessary paperwork. It's important to keep in mind that transferring from one Nigerian university to another is not cheap a sales of inter-university transfer form ranges between 30,000 Naira to 250,000 Naira, depending on the school. This is besides the cost of getting the official copy of your academic transcript sent to the university you are interested in transferring to. Getting the official copy of your academic transcript sent from Ambusale University at Omaedo State to another university cost about 60,000 Naira. This was the price quotation we got from an individual who successfully transferred from the university to another university. Therefore, keep in mind that transferring from one university to another in Nigeria may require a budget of at least 150,000 to 300,000 Naira. This money does not include acceptance fee, school fees, and accommodation you will be paying to the new university you are interested in transferring to. If you are still watching this video at this point, I'm probably finding it helpful. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Moving on, it's important to state that most universities have limited spaces for inter-university transfer for MBBS and nursing science. Admission is therefore not automatic. In fact, the number of students offered admission by transfer in most universities does not exceed 4% of the departmental admission quota in any year. The university reserves the right to reject your transfer application if you do not qualify for the admission. Other important challenges worth acknowledging is the potential stress, adjustment periods, and the need for a support system during this transition. To help you navigate these challenges, it's important to connect with peers who may have undergone similar transitions and seek support from them. Also, researching thoroughly and maintaining a strong academic record can go a long way in smoothing your transfer process. In conclusion, it's important to remember that transferring from one medical school to another is a life-changing decision that requires careful consideration. We have covered the key points to keep in mind, but it's always wise to seek guidance from academic advisors, mentors, and other relevant sources. 
take your time to weigh the options and ensure that you meet the minimum entry requirements of the university you are interested in transferring to. Thank you very much for watching and staying with us to the end of the video. If you have any questions or topics you would like us to cover in future videos, please feel free to leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more valuable content. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.